Alexander Vozdek stops Yoneski Gonzalez in the third round. I've been following Vozdek's career for several fights now. I was very impressed with his previous performance against Isaac Chalemba, where he was able to stop Chalemba. He did far better against that opponent than Sergei Kovalev did, for example. And I believe he was the previous person, or maybe uh, the, the person before that, who'd fought Chalemba. So comparing their performances against the same opponent was quite relevant because it was in a relatively short time frame when they both fought him. So I was very impressed with Vozdek's performance against Isaac Chalemba. Prior to that, he had a scare against Tommy Carpensi, which was a little alarming because Carpensi, kind of a fringe contender, borderline journeyman who was taken out easily by Adonis Stevenson. So it was alarming to see Vozdek in serious trouble down and hurt badly by Tommy Carpensi. I believe that was in the first or second round in that fight. And Carpensi's not really a noted puncher. But as I say, since that time he came back, he stopped Chalemba impressively. And in this fight, he stopped Yoneski Gonzalez impressively. Vozdek is a guy who, at least judging by his past few performances, tends to be more impressive when he sticks to his boxing and doesn't go out there and try and impose himself as a puncher. When he's thinking defense, he's thinking movement, he's thinking combinations, slipping and sliding, hitting and moving, hitting and not getting hit, that's when opportunities present themselves for him and he's able to get guys out of there when he doesn't go looking for it. And that way he's not getting hit with bombs himself as much anyway. And that was the case here against Yoneski Gonzalez. Gonzalez, a big, strong, light heavyweight, comes forward aggressive, not your typical Cuban boxer. Most Cuban boxers are defense first and they're cagey. But Yoneski Gonzalez is almost like a Mexican the way he fights, just comes forward and throws shots almost with reckless abandon. And that played right into Vozdek's hands in this fight. In fact, this is probably the most reckless I've seen Yoneski Gonzalez. And I don't want to take anything away from Vozdek because he boxed the best fight he could possibly box. Excellent tactics. You can't really fault what he did. But I can fault what Gonzalez did. I don't understand why he was so anxious to land big bombs so early in the fight because he was swinging all kinds of shots and leaving himself open all over the place. I don't know why his corner didn't tell him, calm it down a little bit. Go with more jabs. Wait until you get up close before unloading big shots. Go to the body when you get up close. Don't be hanging it all out there like that so early on in the fight when your opponent is fresh. Very, very strange and very reckless tactics by Yoneski Gonzalez. And as I say, his corner, psh, I don't know how they didn't manage to get hold of this guy and tell him to calm it down. Or perhaps they were the ones who were instructing him to do all this reckless stuff. Who knows? I don't speak or understand Spanish, <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But yeah, this fight and the way that it ended had as much to do with the silly, reckless nature of Gonzalez's approach as it did with uh, Vozdek's, you know, counter-punching ability and his finishing ability, his punching power, so on and so forth, his skills. So not to take anything away from him, but Gonzalez just made his job a hell of a lot easier than it would have ordinarily been had Gonzalez fought a more sensible fight. <laughs> you don't have to go rushing in there in the first and second and third rounds in what was it a 10 or 12 round fight there's plenty of rounds to go take your time use your jab you've got a guy in front of you who's moving a lot go to the body try and take that movement away and then open up on him don't just open up in the middle of the ring where he's got the faster hands than you at least wait till you get to the ropes so you can push him back take some of his power away when you've got him got his back against the ropes and then unload you know just very very curious and strange reckless silly tactics by Gonzalez very very strange but Vodsek did exactly what he had to do he got the win and on paper this is a fantastic result for him 
I mean, look at the Gonzalez versus uh, uh, John Pascal fight. A lot of people felt like Gonzalez won that fight. Look at Gonzalez versus, did he fight Shabrinsky? Shabransky, whatever the guy's called, the guy who lost to the other Cuban, uh, Sullivan Barrera. Did, Gonzalez, did uh, Gonzalez fight him? Shabr I think he did. I think he did fight that guy and he also lost to him. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. I might be getting my uh, wires crossed. So for Vodsek to go in there and take him out in as quick a fashion as he did, on paper, that's very, very impressive. And even the way he did it in the ring was impressive. You know, the guy was making a lot of mistakes. Vodsek did very well to tuck up tight and land the counters and necessary shots and close the show. He managed to hurt Gonzalez, stunned him certainly towards the end of the second round, dropped him in the third round, took him out. So great performance. And Vozdek marches on. We'll see if he can get in the mix at title level. I mean, there's some good light heavyweights out there now. You'd like to see Vozdek in there with the likes of maybe a Sullivan Barrera, Arta Baturbiev, and eventually, um, even an Adonis Stevenson, and also eventually the winner of Sergey Kovalev versus Andre Ward, the rematch. So let me know what you felt about Vozdek's performance here against Gonzalez. Let me know what you felt about Gonzalez's performance. Did you think it was as strange as I did? I remember after Gonzalez had a couple losses, they were talking about him refining himself technically. Whereas in this fight, I didn't see any technical refinements. In fact, I saw technical regression. He was so defensively reckless, it was alarming. <laughs> you know, so let me know what you thought about all of it. Drop your comments in the comment section below. It's happening.